Hey guys, this is No Gym Needed coming to you for What If Bulma Found Goku First, Part 9. Strap yourselves in and get ready for a wild ride, and we're gonna we're gonna get into it. But first, let me just tell you, I was supposed to release this last night, and I was going to, and then I got a call from Carlos. He wanted to go to the trampoline park, and I thought, hey, I need to train. <laughs> I need to get better at one-handed back handsprings, and I need to do a double backflip off that swing. And I did. We went, but we didn't get back till like 11 o'clock. It was actually pretty cool. I was supposed to close at 10, and then at 10 o'clock they shut off all the lights and put on all these like colorful strobe lights, and we were doing double flips in the dark. It was pretty rad, I'm not gonna lie. So it was worth it. <clears throat> Anyways, for that reason, I'm getting it out to you guys right now so ladies and gentlemen boys and girls without further ado let's go on a fan fiction adventure Whis is heading to the Kai's planet to destroy Majin Buu's main body upon arriving he inspects all around but there's no trace of Buu I've got a terrible feeling about this Whis says as he keeps inspecting he finds out that every single time ring is gone Boo found the time rings and made a clone for all four of them. Then he had one go 100 minutes into the future, one 99 minutes, 98 minutes, 97 minutes, and they kept going back and forth, merging with the different Boos of different timelines. Every time he did it, a new time ring was made and he was able to do it faster and faster, and each time there would be another him to merge with. After doing this, more and more, with more and more time rings being created, the Kai of Time saw what was going on and gathered Zeno Goku and Zeno Vegeta. When they heard the situation, they realized they couldn't beat him alone. So the Kai of Time instead slows down time and warns the Grand Priest in a timeline that Boo is about to go into. And the Grand Priest personally goes to the Kai's planet to meet the Boo clone. However, when he gets there, first he sees the original Boo of that timeline approaching. And that is Beerus absorbed, God Goku absorbed, Legendary Ascended Vegeta absorbed, etc. But the Grand Priest easily destroys him. That's only one timeline's worth of Boos. Then the Grand Priest waits for the Boo clone to arrive. As expected, the clone, which has the power of many, many, many quantum boos absorbed from many timelines, stands in front of him, and the Grand Priest is quite surprised over this. The boo clone instantly releases all of its murderous intent toward the Grand Priest. Is that supposed to intimidate me? He says. You sure got a lot of aura there. The boo clone sees that it's not working and tries to warn all the other clones through quantum mechanics. But it seems an entire timeline is too big of a bridge to cross. So, it has to flee. It tries to use the time ring to escape, but it's not working. It looks down, only to see it's missing a finger. And the Grand Priest tosses the ring up in the air casually and says, You're not going to survive this. All the Boos once again meet up in the original timeline and merge into one again. The power is indescribable. He has nearly a hundred Beeruses, a hundred God of Destruction Gokus, a hundred Legendary Ascended Vegetas, and many more that he's absorbed. He looks behind him, and Whis is standing there, looking extremely angry and disgusted. How could we have let this happen? I can't afford to play around. Whis powers up and his body becomes semi-transparent. The extreme white lightning energy that was coming off him just a second ago disappeared, even though his presence has only gotten even stronger. Then Whis, whose cells are vibrating at such a gobsmacking speed, simply utters, Chaos World inspired judgment. 
Whis has no second or final form, per se. However, if he so chooses, he's able to jump straight up to the pinnacle of energy and power that one being can possess at one time, while not destroying the universe. At this level, all the angels fight for superiority, even the Grand Priest. In a nutshell, this is the strongest a physical being can be. So battles at this level are always decided by technique alone. Now, Whis utters, as he rocks back and forth, almost phasing in and out of reality as he does. Die, Majin Buu, you plague of the universe. In another timeline, the Grand Priest beat Buu, as predicted, and met with the Kai of Time. All's well, Grand Priest, it seems. Him absorbing himself out of the timelines didn't cause any other ripples. Might even be a good thing for those timelines, hmm? Says the Grand Priest of Time. Then... What? What's... What's this? Nani? <laughs> what is it? Zenogoku asks. Th the original timeline boo came out his powers too much. What do you mean? The Grand Priest says. She shows him, and the Grand Priest says, Oh my, Whis is using his power to fight it? The Grand Priest observes. Then Zeno, Vegeta, and Zeno Goku at the same time. What? is going on they're jaw dropped at the epicness of boo's power i can't believe we can sense this much power just through a vision vegeta says and what's more look at Whis. zeno goku says i don't believe what i'm seeing right now and then the supreme kite of time hits them on the head and says this is no time to be impressed by majin boo we need to do something about this meanwhile back to Whis and majin boo Whis says, If I exert just one more jewel of power, the universe itself will collapse. You see the fatal mistake you made now, Boo? Whis attacks Boo at a blindingly fast speed. No being below angel level could see these movements. That's just how the universe functioned, and no one knew that better than Whis. Boo only had enough time to utter one statement before the attack collided with him but he didn't care if anyone heard it or not. That statement was, Who cares about one lousy universe? In that 0.001 seconds of time, Whis felt terror and sensed a power that had awakened in Boo. A power so severely dark and merciless that if he just willed it, he could destroy multiple universes with such a power. Before Whis's attack followed through, Whis was no more. Meanwhile, everybody watching back at the Grand Priest's place was in shock. The Grand Priest himself, for the first time he remembers, became angry. Alright guys, there you have it. The Grand Priest is P.O'd. Whis, honestly, I thought his powers were so cool. But too bad Majin Buu didn't care about destroying the universe. And that's where we made a very, very, very big mistake. So, our universe... Universe 7 is now completely gone. Buu wrecked it. Completely destroyed it. <laughs> so, where are we going to go from here, guys? But the Grand Prix is definitely coming for Buu. It's going to be an epic fight. Is Buu going to be able to power up anymore before the Grand Prix gets to him? Well, we'll see. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, 